big controversy erupting in the Tennessee State House. But it wasn't about a new piece of legislation. It was about what someone was wearing. Newly elected state representative Justin J. Pearson wore a traditional African dashiki to its February 9th swearing-in ceremony. Well, one of his Republican colleagues commenting on the importance of dress code and wearing a tie. Yeah, Pearson sounding off on Twitter. And we caught up with him to hear more on that incident that made national headlines. Take a look. It was quite surprising to have another member on the House floor uh, respond in this way during our session. Uh, it was not expected at all. So what happened on the House floor? Well, a GOP colleague told the story about the late Lois DeBerry, the first African-American woman elected to the Tennessee State House, who once pointed out to him the appropriateness of wearing a tie. Pearson believed those comments were a criticism and took to Twitter saying, a white supremacist has attacked my wearing of a dashiki. Honoring one's ancestors, as I was doing, ancestors who fought in order for me to have this type of opportunity. His comment has very little to do with wearing a dashiki. It has to do with who's there and who's being represented. I'm black, I'm young, I have an Afro. This is not typical for the Tennessee State House. Tennessee House Republicans responded to Pearson's accusation of white supremacy with a tweet of their own saying, referencing the bipartisan and unanimously approved rules for house decorum and dress attire is far from a racist attack. But Pearson disputes that. There are no rules for attire. You can look through the Tennessee State House rules. It doesn't exist. We are in the house. Yeah. It is about us being there. That's what they have a problem with. I've worn suits and ties since I was eight years old. The issue is not about wearing a suit and tie. It is about a culture that tells you that wearing something that's different, although culturally relevant, is wrong. And that is a culture that we must address. We reached out to the Tennessee State Legislature for comment, but they did not respond. A statement from the House Speaker's office noted that DeBerry established a precedent for attire that remains in place today. We contacted the Tennessee House Republicans, but they did not respond. The representative Pearson believes criticized him, told us he was simply recounting something Lois DeBerry once told him and did not see any issue of race in his comments. Pearson tells us that colleague has not yet reached out to him, but he has gotten some support. There have been several Democrats who've offered support and encouragement and have also offered to buy me more dashikis uh, that we'll be wearing as well. We have to remember why we are fighting. For now, Pearson says he's concentrating on doing the job he was elected to do. As for the uproar that threatened to overshadow his first day in office. We have to continuously respond to that by being who we are and continue to advocate for the type of state, the type of country, the type of world that celebrates and embraces everyone. Let's go. At age 28, he is one of Tennessee's youngest state legislators. Wow. And, you know, he also told us he really wants to focus on environmental issues now and criminal justice reform. So we are thankful that he sat down mm -hmm. with us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.